All right, hello YouTube. We're back with more of everyone's favorite horror game of the 2004s. Fucking Michigan report from hell. Let's go. Okay. Let's go. Woo. Oh, it's creepy music this time instead of the weird do 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 music. Good evening, him. viewers. This is Carly Reese. Chicago seems to have turned into a virtual city of death. Our news team has gotten word that some of our colleagues may have been left behind in this mansion. We're just about to enter the mansion to see what's happened to them. Let's go in now. Let's go in now. She sounds like a robot. She sounds like an AI. I'm sorry. This has to be on purpose. No one reads something like... There's a monster right in front of us. Yeah, no shit. What? It's not moving. I bet it would if we got too close. Man, that thing looks brutal. Oh, so this is what we're we starting with. We wouldn't stand a chance against it. Make sure you stay back. All right. Alright. Is, is it not gonna move? Alright. Frisco. Frisco, hi. Hi, Frisco. Hi. I love you. <gasps> A table. I'm here to evacuate it. I don't understand the music. This picture isn't too bad, I guess. What is this music? Why is this music? Who 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 decided these? Who made these game decisions? I don't hear breathing. Oh, it's this thing on the stairs. Okay, whatever. I t I don't give a shit. <laughs> This game is nowhere. Oh, it's a note. It's a note, thanks. There's stew in the pot on the stove. All I have to do is heat it up. Love, Mom. Oh, we don't get the suspenseful music for that one? On the pot. Why is is the pot haunted? Is the soup made out of humans? Is the soup made out of kids? What a huge refrigerator. Wish I had one of these. Yeah, when why the fuck kid, is it taller than me? I wanted to live in a house with a big refrigerator like this. <laughs> one filled with tons of ice cream. <laughs> God, I love Briscoe. Or Bosco. No time for Br Bosco's hey, ramblings. You better go I'm over. I'm talking over here. I didn't mean to, like, ignore his ramblings. It was kind of funny. Oh, I'm sorry. That's not the door we're supposed to go in. I remember. Yeah. The thing. Oh. This painting doesn't have any fashion to it. Bro, it's the same exact painting. What do you mean? Frisco, what the fuck? 
art is expression. Expression, I say. <laughs> Dear D, everything's going with you. No news develop, no developments on this end really either. Mainly this fog didn't spring up by chance. I'll keep looking into it. From M. Okay. No big, big thing for that, but okay. I don't understand this game. It's not even you run. It's just you, you walk faster than you charge. Do all charging. Just for opening the door. Looks like the basement. Wanna go down? I don't think I will. I get claustrophobic in basements. Oh, let me guess if I had Anne, Anne would have gone down there or something. This is from a week ago, the headline says. Research director of Zaka Biolabs fired. Zaka Biolabs? So wait, our reporter... Wait, so Zaka is a reporting... Zaka has a news reporter headquarters and is part of a biolab? What the fuck? I don't think that's legal. I don't think that'd be legal. Bro, what the fuck? Poor guy. It's all over for him. <laughs> what? God, it's a shame when a co-worker dies. No oh, I is, thought that was me. But I guess we better be going. Oh my God, I thought that was me. <laughs> you will not believe. When I tripped down those stairs and fell, I was like, I'm dead. It's me that's dead. Yep, he's dead. I mean, it looks like nothing killed him. What what killed him? He's just dead. There's no blood, there's no nothing. It's just... Oh, motherfucker. Are we not... Mr. Briscoe, did you find anything in the basement? Nah. Just another dead body. <laughs> what? <laughs> what kind of expression? It must have been the monster. Let's go. We don't have time to worry about it. But... Oh, okay. I don't really understand, but okay. Very suspenseful, much suspenseful. I'm, I'm in so much suspense. There's something on top of the book chase. There's literally something on top of there. I can see it. Move your butt. Be filled with nothing but gossip. Modern mystery. Bigfoot appears. Alright, the sound effect is really fucking annoying. I'm now getting annoyed by the sound effect. What's that? There's something on top of the armoire. But... It's way too high. We'll never reach it. My man, just jump. Holy shit, just jump. Even my fucking unathletic ass can jump and reach that. Or, you know, just hit the armoire so you can get the key. Holy shit, that is not too high up to reach, I will say. Oh, I see. The toilet. Obviously, it's a toilet. Thanks, game. There isn't anything special about it. I fucking... I don't even fucking know. It's a diary. August 18th had a date today, but what's with this fog? Shame if it had been sunny, we could have watched the lake from the observation deck. I was like, why? <laughs> okay. Why this noise? It's not even a cool noise. It's like a very fucking annoying noise. Oh. D, 
Give me one second. Give me one second. I need to process this in my head. So, there's a key on top of a bookshelf. The answer to the puzzle is that there's literally a stepladder in front of the bookshelf. And none of the characters pointed that out initially. Or did that automatically. The reporter needs to be told that a stepladder in front of the bookshelf is how you get the key on top of the bookshelf. These characters are brain dead. There is, there is, no, there is collective. Collectively, they have one brain cell. It is literally, they see something and that's it. There's no processing. There's nothing going on between their brains. They see it and that's it. There is nothing else going on in those brains. There's nothing else. There, there isn't. There isn't. I can't. I can't. I can't even fathom how stupid this is. I can't even tell you how stupid this is. <sighs> Stuck in the ladder. If we use this. We'll be able to see the top of the armoire. What? What do you mean, see the top? You can already see that it's a fucking key, my man. I, even I'm not bright. Even I can see that's a fucking key. Come on. And you still don't reach. Your hands went I through. Got it. It's a key. Maybe it unlocks something here in the house. Oh, really? Open the door. What is the point of looking through doors? I don't understand why it does like, uh, hey, you can look through this door as like a sneak peek type thing when there's nothing that it does. It's not like you can fight enemies with your with your own actions. It's like point and click. So like, why why have the open why have the opening of the door animation where you can like choose to not go in when it doesn't fucking matter? Where'd she- she just fucking disappeared. She fucking disappeared. She fucking apparated out of existence. She doesn't exist. Where the fuck did she go? Where did she teleport to? Oh, she teleported over here. Hold on. Let me just get a- let me just get a screenshot for this thumbnail. Uh, stop moving, please. And- oh. She moves a lot. There we go. Just, just because, yeah. Okay. There's a note here. It says apparently Zaka Boy has a girlfriend. What? Alright, what? And whom? And why? Why? What? Who is Zaka Boy? Why was that a thing that, that was just on this desk? This room with only a desk? And a chair? And nothing fucking else in the room? Except a gun cabinet with shotguns. I bet we can open this with that key we just found. How the fuck would you know, Briscoe? I mean, I'm sorry, Briscoe. You're a god. Oh, of course it fucking did. She's just carrying a rifle now. There's no no words were said. It's just you, you guys don't want to. Shouldn't shouldn't we all take rifles at this point? I'm pretty sure we should all just take rifles at this point. But whatever, whatever. Only the sexy reporter lady gets to have a gun. The rest of us don't get shit. Why'd she go over to that door? What the fuck is going on? I guess I'm shooting it.
What? Am I even am I even doing damage to it? Was awesome. I guess a stad. Huh? Damn. Looks like we're out of bullets. What? <laughs> we can. We can. Oh well, that monster's in heaven. I mean, hell. Oh, you got him, Briscoe. Yeah. That was so clever. That was amazing. You're such a wordsmith. Are right, Are we not gonna get another gun? Are we not going to go and grab another gun? Oh, sorry. That door is uh, permanently locked now. We're not going to get another gun, apparently. Even though we should definitely take another gun. Because, you know. Oh, sorry. This door. Okay. Did I beat this mansion? That was barely a mansion. I'm going to be honest. This was supposed to be a mansion. There were like four rooms. Oh, sorry, this is a new area of the mansion. We had to have a whole loading screen for this section. This game came out in 2004, by the way. Oh, no, somebody knocked over the plant. Goddamn assholes. What is this? You don't like the reporter that doesn't give you license to do terrible things. <coughs> uh, nothing. Never mind. What? What? What was the point of him coughing? Someone, 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 please explain. What was the point of him coughing? I don't. I don't. Not understand. I don't. Don't. What? Okay. Whatever. 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 Just fucking. Just fucking move on. Just get me out. <laughs> this hell loop. Oh look, it's a normal water-filled bathroom. It's another bathtub. Maybe we'll find something if we pull the plug. No, nothing. Gee, I don't know. Did you guys not hear the very loud clunk? Wait, also... Did that bathtub just activate and un just, like, unlock a door? Somewhere else in the level? Because I swear to fucking Christ if it did. That would be the stupidest fucking shit. I swear to fucking Christ, I'm gonna lose my mind. I'm gonna lose my mind if a door opened, if something opened because of this one bathtub. There's- wait. Where, where did we come in from? Did we come in from here? I, gu I guess, but like... This door. It's not locked anymore. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry. It, you're right. It's silly me to think, to not realize, to not realize the genius that was the amount of water in your bathtub is connected to a locker on a, set, on a door in a completely separate room. How, do, how would you even, how would that even work? Also, the amount of mold that would cause having to have a bathtub filled with water in your house for the, just to have the door locked is insane. So basically, if anyone wanted to take a bath, this room would be permanently locked. You'd be locked in this room and you'd be completely fucked.
There's, there's no one here. He's favorite from several weeks ago. Army plans large-scale maneuvers on the shores of Lake Michigan. Uh, okay. Oh my god, that guy's still alive. Hey! Are you alright? No, he's not fucking alright, my man. Mr. Henning! Who? Carly, is that you? What are you doing here? Yes, it's me. We came to rescue you. Who's Mr. Henning? Oh, hang on now, sir. Oh. <laughs> I... I... Who's Mr. Henning? I was a fool. Who? I let my whole team get killed. What kind of director am I, anyway? Am I supposed to know this person? Oh, Mr. Henning! It wasn't your fault. It's all too... strange. What's happening here in Chicago? And what Zaka is doing, too? I don't know the details, but... Jeff might know something. Who's Jeff? Lately, the Chief's been sending Jeff out on special assignments. Jeff went to St. Matthew's Church. It's ten blocks up. Went there to do a story. Oh, and... <laughs> what is Jeff, happening? Do me a favor. Yeah, I don't care about Hennings because they haven't oh, established... wife. Something for me. Oh, that's both of you to assume I'm we're going to get out. Place far away to do a story. And I won't be back. Tell her it's my lucky break. Why would we lie to her? Biggest scoop of my life. Mr. Henning! <laughs> that was... Mr. That was, those were his last words? He's already dead. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I skipped the cutscene. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's a perfect. That's a perfect time. That's a perfect way to end this cutscene. He's already dead. Let's go. <laughs> Holy shit, Frisco! <laughs> time and a place, my man. Also, what the fuck was that cutscene? What in the fuck? Was that cutscene? Tell my wife. <laughs> he must fucking hate his wife. Don't tell my wife I'm dead. Give her false hope. <laughs> tell her biggest scoop of my life. And he doesn't even change cadence when he's dying. He's just like, uh, biggest scoop of my life. And <laughs> it's so bad. Holy shit. <laughs> and like who is heading he's never been mentioned before or established as a character and all of a sudden i'm like oh, mr henning the the director of yaka tv or zaka tv whoa he's like all bloody oh no <laughs> it's like holy shit all right so we explored the mansion that was not really a mansion. Didn't really feel like exp I was exploring it. I hate... I, I, I'm i starting to... I fucking hate the... Oh, uh, this game is awful. <laughs> this game is atrocious. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna end this part here. And the next part, we'll go to the church, I guess. Peace.